Hey guys, so this video is going to be a little chat about coax. Now you're going to hear it all the time. You're going to see it on Facebook. You're going to hear it on YouTube. People are going to tell you, you got to buy expensive coax. You got to get LMR 400. You got to get R213. Don't use RG58. Don't use 8X. Don't use RGA. It's you're gonna hear it all the time. Then you're gonna be told it has to be a certain length. You have to cut it to a certain length, otherwise it won't work correctly. Well, we're gonna go through all these, and I'm gonna use um, a chart by Belden. We're gonna go through their various products, and we're gonna see what sort of losses you're gonna get on those on those coax. Um, on those particular coax cables. So the reason I'm using just Belden is we'll keep with one manufacturer. That way we know that what they've written on this tech sheets, it's going to be correct. It's no good kind of comparing, you know, oranges and grapes. We want one, one manufacturer. Um, and we're going to go through, uh, RG58, RGAX, RGA213 uh, and LMR400. I think they're probably the most popular. Obviously the guys that are using huge stations and are pumping out megawatts, they're probably gonna use hardline, but you're not gonna need that for like a, you know, a four watt, four watt AM, 12 watt, SSB or you know a hundred watt base station, you're really not going to need that sort of uh, product. Anyway, let's get to it. Let's go through the various ones and uh, see what one's best for you. I think you might be some CB Radio Tricks. Now, one thing I want to stress that's really, really important is, yes, you can buy coaxial cable from anywhere. You can buy it from a radio store. You can buy it from your mate down the road. You can buy it from Amazon. A hell of a lot of uh, online sites. They're not all the same. They really aren't all the same. You'll see something that's packaged as, let's say for example, um, RG8X. A lot of people use RG8X. You go to a decent radio store and you price up, say 100 foot, and you're gonna think, that's quite expensive. Um, I can get it cheaper on, on Amazon. You can get it cheaper on Amazon, but it's not gonna be the same. I've got to stress here that if you want decent antenna coax, you have to buy a, a well-known manufacturer. If you buy it online, it's probably come from China, it's produced really badly, and it isn't gonna be the same. In fact, you might be going backwards. For example, I've got a run of um, 100 foot um, LMR 400 uh, at home that my wife bought me and uh, I, I didn't know she was buying it for me, but she did. I was I was using RG8 and it, it was so old. Uh, the center core was black um, and she knew that I needed some more. So she, she ordered a roll of um, LMR 400 from, from, from Amazon for me, a hundred foot roll. It didn't seem to perform as well as the bad RG, the bad RG8. Um, and this is a few days ago, I, I kind of looked at what the products you bought. And um, if you go right down, right down to the bottom of the, the description for the product, it tells you the loss for that particular 100 foot, which in this case was uh, 4 dB. Um, now it's gonna be down to you how much you're gonna accept, how much loss you're actually gonna accept. But uh, when I compared that um, loss of 4 dB compared to um, RGA, there, there was a fair difference there. 
Um, off the top of my head, until we get into the charts, I think it was around about 3 dB. It just proves a point that if you're going to buy or compare uh, coaxial cables, get a good manufacturer's product. It's going to work better, it's going to last longer, and you're going to get more bang for your buck. Now, it's also important to remember um, coax loss is dependent on the frequency you're using and also the uh, the SWR reading you're getting from, from your antenna. Now, on the CB band, we're on 27 megahertz, you know, around about 27 megahertz, 26, 27. Perhaps, perhaps some people were hitting 28. So we're actually in the, the, the HF band. Now the, the losses that you're gonna see on coax cable on HF bands are gonna be nowhere near as bad as if we were working in VHF, UHF. If you're working in VHF, UHF, um, the longer they run, the more loss you're gonna get compared to HF. So, the figures for, for that we're going to see for losses on on um, on our coax that we're using in the CB band are going to be nowhere near as much as VHF UHF. When people say you got to have, you know, a really 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 great um, uh, coax cable for CB, it's not necessarily correct. Yes, it will be better. But how much better is it going to be? What difference is that going to make? You're probably not going to notice it. Just remember that we're in the HF band, so the losses aren't as bad as some people say. Yes, they're there, but they're not as bad. It's not as bad as using UHF, VHF. The, um, the chart that I've got from Belden, and you can see this is for four watts. Now, RG58 for a 100 foot run uh, at 27.205, which is channel 20, and an SWR of uh, 1.5. And using a stock radio, um, four watts. <clears throat> now you can see that uh, the total loss we've got is 1.99 dB. So that's just under two dB. So with 100 foot of um, RG58, four watts out, yeah, four watts out will give us a total power output of 2.53 watts. So you're, you're losing just under half your power on a 100 foot run of um, RG58, which is to be expected. It's, you know, it's the lowest quality coax, not really meant for a 100 foot run. Great for in the car, you know, you're not looking at uh, anywhere near that uh, length. <clears throat> but for a 100 foot, forget it. Um, then we're gonna go up to RG8X. So RG8X is more or less the same thickness as uh, RG58, except it's not as lossy as we can see here, 100 foot with the same SWR and the same four watts out is actually a, a 1.6 dB loss. Um, it's probably, uh, it's probably gonna be around about half an S point, I think. Um, Power out, 2.7 watts. So we're losing one and a quarter watts there. So not too bad. Now RG8, obviously it's a thicker thicker material. And um, what's the loss we've got on this? Total loss of uh, one dB. Or you know a third of an S point. You're not really going to see or hear that, I don't think. And it's given us a, a power output of 3.175 watts. So we're, we're losing under a watt there. 
Um, so that that's pretty damn good. And I must admit, it's probably one of my favourite, um, one of my favourite coax cables I use. Now we're going to go into 213. Now this is kind of interesting here. It's not as big a... In fact, it's, it's worse. The RG213 from Belden is not as good as Belden RGAX. The figures aren't what you would expect them to be, which is really weird. And I've checked this a couple of times and it's came up, and it's came up a few times. So 100 foot of RG213, um, we're getting 3.92 watts. That's not quite as good as the RGA. And I find that surprising. But as I say, I did go back and I did check. Then we're going to go into the most expensive of all, which is the uh, LMR 400. We've got a loss there of 0.68, so just over half a dB. Um, 4 watts is going to give us out 3.42. So 0.3 or thereabouts of a difference between uh, MR400 and RGA. I don't think you're going to know that. I don't think the guy at the other end of the transmission is going to hear that difference. I don't think you're going to hear that difference. But the difference between these is uh, cost. Is it worth that cost? Is it worth the extra money to get that 0.3 of a dB back? I don't think it is. Looking at these charts, I would stick with RG8. Um, it's going to be a bit more expensive than the uh, the RG8X, but you know there's a kind of a good difference there. So in this case, to me personally, I think RG8 wins. Uh, I don't think it's, I've, I've got a chart there that goes into the hundred watts, but it's going to be you know it's going to be it's going to be the same percentages. Um, you could get this down. Now, if you get the SWR down a little bit more, you'll, you'll gain a bit more. But again, I don't think you're going to notice it. And I don't think the guy at the other end of the transmission is going to notice it either. So, as I say, in this case, I'm happy with, with RGA. I really am. So, as I said at the beginning of the, uh, the video and the intro, we're also going to talk about the coax length. Um, people are going to tell you that it has to be a certain length. That's not true. Now, obviously, the longer the coax length, the more loss you're going to get. Uh, might not be a lot, might, might not be noticeable. But the best length of coax that you would need for your optimal performance is the length that's between the transceiver and the antenna that's your best length that way you're keeping any additional losses down uh, a lot of people say you can if it's too much you can loop it up put it on the ground that's fine i'll act as an rf choke um, but if you've got like yards and yards or feet and feet and feet and feet of it you're just introducing a little more like a loss so if you're uh, transceiver is 94 feet away from your antenna that's the length you cut it to uh, as for uh, people also say that um, the more connections you've got the worse it gets use decent connections guys if you get decent connections you're not going to have any problems there's a lot of crap out there at the moment get decent connections uh, and they say a patch lead, you know, should be a certain length. Well, you know, the less, the shorter the patch lead is, the less loss you're going to get out of it. It's pretty obvious. Um, and you know, a foot or two foot of uh, 
RG58 isn't going to introduce any loss that you're going to notice, that's for sure. Or if you're a bit worried, use RG8X. You can use RG8, but it tends to be a little bit too, you know, a bit too stiff. You can't always train it where you want it to go to. So, summing up, I think uh, that's about it, really. I hope you find this, um, I hope you find it informative, and I hope it helps. You know, please comment, give us your feedback, and uh, it'd be great if you could subscribe. I'm trying to get those numbers up. I think I'm at 200 and something. I'm trying to get those numbers up so I can give that radio away. So subscribe, hit the bell, share, and um, comment. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.